pitch, when you're walking into a new situation, there's always that positive anticipation of what are you gonna do? How I felt the first time I walked into medical school, or the first time I did my internship, or the first time I walked into the NIH. Anticipation of uh, the unknown. The unknown can be frightening sometimes, but the unknown can be exciting. People would always ask, you've been doing this for a half a century, you've been director for 38 years, do you want to continue to do experiments in the lab or run clinical trials? And I said, no. I ask myself, what do I have to offer to society? I I've spent the last four decades or five decades in a very important leadership position. So I'd like to inspire people here at Georgetown that they may have what it takes as soon as I made a decision, it was like anxiety-free, completely. Sort of like we were talking just a little while ago about going back to Dahlgren Chapel and re reflecting with Christine Grady, my wife, of what it felt like standing there in front of the altar in Dahlgren's Chapel. Wow. You know, it's just, it's just as beautiful as it was... Uh, 38 years ago. <laughs> 38 years ago. We were standing right here. We were. Christine. Friends and loved ones. Yeah, by. I was really excited. I kind of remember walking in. I remember you standing there. We yeah. looked a little younger then. <laughs> My wife graduated from undergraduate here. She got her PhD in philosophy here. We were married in Dahlgren Chapel. Our three daughters were born at Georgetown Hospital. And I live 10 blocks away. <laughs> To come back and spend the next several years at the next chapter in my professional life in a place that just instinctively feels like home is really a good feeling. Yeah. And it has the values that you grew up with yeah. and learned in all of your Jesuit training and you'll be able to both celebrate and instill hopefully in others the value of public service. So the perspective that I came to from medicine was always very much involved with the person as opposed to the disease that happens to be in a person. It really goes way back in my training of service for others, but with a the very strong theme of intellectual rigor and integrity and honesty, which again, it, it something that I didn't deliberately choose it. It was there from the almost the minute I was born with my parents, and then the idea of going into a long period of education under the Jesuits was just very natural to get me to where I am today. Given what I've been through and what I have to offer, I think what I have to offer is experience and inspiration to the younger generation of students. If my main goal is to serve as an inspiration for those younger individuals, then I'll be part of the process of that flow of young people coming in and taking leadership roles. If I accomplish that, I think I'll make a major contribution to Georgetown. My advice to young people, expect the unexpected, goes for me to expect the unexpected. So I'm gonna expect the unexpected here. <laughs>